one full moon super moon the moon will be located opposite the earth from the sun and will be fully illuminated as seen from earth this phase occurs at 6:33 UTC or according to 24 hour time 1833 this full moon was known by early native american tribes as the sturgeon moon because the large sturgeon fish of the great lakes and other major lakes were mostly easily caught at this time of year this moon has also been known as the green corn moon and the grain moon this is also the second of four super moons for 2023 the moon will be near its closest approach to the earth and may look slightly larger and brighter than usual August 10 Mercury at greatest eastern elongation the planet Mercury reaches greatest eastern elongation east, eastern elongation at of 27.4 degrees from the sun this is the best time to view Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky look for the planet low in the western sky just after sunset August 12 and 13 Perseid meteor shower. The Perseid is one of the best meteor showers to observe, producing up to 60 meteors per hour at its peak. It is produced by comet Swift Tuttle, which was discovered in 1862. The Perseids are famous for producing a large number of bright meteors. The shower runs annually from July 17th to July to August 24th. Sorry. It peaks this year on the night of August 12th and the morning of August 13th. The crescent moon should not be too much of a problem this year. Sky should still be dark enough for a good show. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Perseus but can appear anywhere in the sky. August 16th, new moon. The moon will, look, will be located on the same side of the earth as the sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This phase occurs at 9.39 UTC. This is the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. August 24th, moon occults and tears. The moon passes in front of the bright star and tears in the constellation Scorpius. This rare event will happen at 10.29 p.m. 2.29 UTC and will be visible in the central U.S. and northern Florida. August 27th, Saturn at opposition. The ring planet will be at its closest approach to Earth and its face will be fully illuminated by the sun. It will be brighter than any other time of the year and will be visible all night long. This is the best time to view and photograph Saturn and its moons. A medium-sized or larger telescope will allow you to see Saturn's rings and a few of its brightest moons. August 31st, full moon, super moon, blue moon. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the earth as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. This phase occurs at 1.37 UTC. This is also the third of four super moons for 2023. The moon will be near its closest approach to the earth and may look slightly larger and brighter than usual. Since this is the second full moon in the same month, it is sometimes referred to as a blue moon.